What is up, guys? Oh, shit. What is up guys back at again with another video in today's video we're gonna do pros and cons of owning a mini cooper so we're gonna go head to the spot and i guess the spot we were supposed to go to the spot that we originally go to but there's it's being preoccupied a bunch of people over there and i did not expect that so I think this one we're just gonna go home and, and uh, go film the video over there. And Astrika is taking over. That's right, she's gonna be taking over today's vlog on pros and cons of her own Mini Cooper. So let's head home and uh, let's get this video going. Oh. <laughs> you better not put that in there. Somebody was eager to make that light. I, was, I, was, I didn't know if I should stop or if I should keep going. So I have a bit of that. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps grow the channel so much. Currently trying to reach a thousand subs, so every sub counts. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, if you guys want to preview my content um, early and know when videos are dropping, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I always post on my story of content that's about to drop. Or if you guys want to hit that bell button, it will notify you guys as soon as a vid drops. Oh. There we go. Gang, gang. I told you. I was honking first. Yeah. Oh, it did it. It fucking did it. You fucking bitch. Don't say that. I can open again. So I guess that's the uh, the first con. Is this thing the always faulty drawers fails? The glove compartment. Don't know if any other Mini Coopers out there has this issue, but most certainly this one does. So a con about the Mini Cooper is there's only one power outlet, which I find strange. So this is a power outlet and it's, uh, it's broken, as well as my other Mini Cooper. And yeah, it makes uh, trips difficult. Another con is, um, these cup holders. As you can see, it does not fit properly. It also makes shifting difficult. I mean, there's also a cup holder back here, but I prefer my cup to be up front where I can grab it. Next con is the engine. Oh, it's in that one. Yeah, for some reason, um, they placed a, release. the release the latch. latch for the hood on the passenger side. Don't ask me why. And also the release lever for the uh, hood is also on the driver's side. So it's kind of in a weird position. There's up, I thought I was down. Um, what? There's not much space in here to work with. I mean, if you were to get to some parts like, say, uh, change your motor mount or um, what was it? The, the alternator. You'd have to move all these parts to get to it. So what she's saying essentially, guys, is that if you take it to a mechanic shop, they're probably going to charge you an arm and a leg because it is a foreign car and it is a tight space to work around with. Um, just to get to this airbox, for example, we did on the blue mini that she had. To install this, we had to take off the bumper, kind of pull this towards loosen us, this, this. and loosen it just to be able to fit this airbox in. That's a good point, Kenny. That was going to be my next con. <laughs> you like, yeah, it's actually really expensive to get it fixed. Um, parts are expensive too. You cannot find them cheap. Try to look for some parts on the blue Mini Cooper. Uh, the bumper turned out to be like 400 bucks. So, yeah. Well, compared to our JDM cars, you know, it's more expensive. Just slam that harder. <laughs> Alright, now guys, I'm going to start off with the pros. Um, this one is a pro for me, but it could be a pro for you guys. Um, so, 
to me, this car is kind of spacious. I sit really close to the seat, so. But it's because I'm short, for like. But this car is really spacious compared to what other people like tend to say. I mean, taller people, they can't really fit in the back. But I was able to fit my 50 inch screen TV and transport it home. Yeah, so what she means by that, um, when we had our other Mini Cooper, it was an 05, 03. 04 okay. basically same same model okay. as this one base as well um all we had to do is fold down these seats on the back and we're able to fit a 50 inch, 50 inch screen tv that we bought from best buy that was in a box and we were able to shut the trunk down and it was able to fit just perfectly fine another pro I'll let you guys in a secret it's great on gas it's really good on gas i was surprised because my first mini cooper i don't know it was terrible on gas I think it was because the wheels, the wheels were smaller. I don't know what it was about, about her other Mini Cooper, but for some strange reason, the other Mini Cooper was terrible on gas. I mean, it felt like, honestly, it was probably getting like 16, 17 miles to the gallon, which I thought was very strange. Um, as to whereas this one gets quite a few. Yeah, I even asked Kenny um, to accept my challenge, which he won't, which I think you guys should comment below that he should accept my challenge. He said his FRS is better on gas. Than I don't mine. know. Out of all of our cars, I think the two best. The best is the Mini Cooper. Out of the 350Z, the 240, the Integra, the Mini, and the FRS, I think, I think the FRS <laughs> is the best in gas. It's definitely the Mini Cooper. Fine, then take my challenge. I challenge you to drive all the way until it hits a quarter tank and then you let me know we're gonna we're gonna both drive all the way to naples you sounds like, like a waste of time but no anyways no, sounds like a great challenge you don't want to accept because you know i'm gonna win all right it's bad boy it's a lot of what a lot of snacks kenny a lot of snacks oh. even like kit kats <laughs> <laughs> i got my kit kat in the door um anyways another pro what's the other pro damn it how did i oh no space we did space we did mileage we did another pro is this car is great handling i was so surprised um i thought it'd be rolling around like the teggy but i guess not what she means is that um the bottle is <laughs> isn't as bad as this integra um this being i think a shorter wheelbase than integra and also the um suspension is more stiff than this 95 integra this being an 03, um, I guess it is eight years newer. I guess you can't compare them. Well, not really. But yeah, I do give it. The Mini does handle better than the Integra. This car is better at everything than your car is. I'm just saying. And and not that it's not bad at handling. It's, it's actually pretty good. Um, better than at least what I thought. And no, my all my other cars handle better than this car. No, no. You're talking about even 50-50 weight distribution. What does this have? Do you even know? No. <laughs> exactly. Um, what else? There was another one. All right, so most of you guys know us girls. We don't know how to park, you know? Well, Kenny taught me how to park, but still. Um, I still get anxiety when parking cars. Hey, hey, where are you going? This is how she parks the car every day. No, look at the 350Z. <laughs> 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 no. Let's go take it to the Z. It's crooked. Okay. Which car is more crooked? The, the, the 240? 240. The 240. Or the Z? Comment the, down below the, who's, who's more crooked. Bucks. I'll cash up you five bucks. No, no, you can't be paying people for this. It is crooked. Look at that. I tried my best. I tried my best, okay? You can't be judging me, okay? I still did a good job parking in reverse, so I don't want to hear it. Anyways car is really easy to park you know I get a lot of anxiety parking my car I usually tell Kenny to hop in in the driver's seat and park it for me so I love this car it's, I never have a problem parking except going in reverse for a strange reason this car has a hard time going into reverse but that can just be its own mechanical issue so I guess that's another con so I guess she's got more cons than she's got I still love the car pros. though I still love the car which is funny. Yeah. But, but this is legit my like her favorite car that she she ever drove. It also has self-closing doors, which is another pro. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's, it hurts my legs. So it's like the Z. It's worse than the Z, actually. It hurts my ankles and my legs so bad. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys watched our other pros and cons on the Integra. 
FRS and the 350Z. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget. Don't forget. I'm gonna be watching y'all. I'm gonna be watching y'all. <laughs> all right guys i appreciate you guys so much for watching like she said if you guys haven't already be sure to watch the pros and cons of the integra the frs and the z and the z <laughs> i'm probably gonna do the 240 up next pros and cons so stay tuned for that as soon as i register this I'm, car i'm probably gonna do it i'm gonna do it it's a nissan i have to do it no it's my car it's my car okay. <laughs> anyways guys like I said, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.